If you read book, the book of Philippians, if we read maybe chapter 4. Chapter 4. Verse 6. Verse 6. It says what? Do not be anxious or worried about anything. Anything. But in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requirements known to God. Anything. Read it again, Mama. Anything. Do not be anxious or worried about anything. Ask somebody and say, what are you worrying about? Look at the person's face. About the job. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're worried about what? Ah, this verse is a strong verse. And we normally read it. It says, all this, you can take all your worries, all your challenges, and bring like them like petition and prayer. And we, we make our go to know it. With thanksgiving. Say so thank you Lord for all this. Thank you Lord for this pain. Thank you Lord for this This poverty. Thank you Lord for this rejection. You were with, with joy in your heart. If you do that, you retain it to your heart. If you do, you worry, you become anxious, you take it to your heart. But when you put it by prayer, you make it known to God. Psalm 37 verse 5. You say what? Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him also and he will do it. What is it that God will do today? Commit your ways to God. And trust him and he will do it. Can you say, for God to do something is not to worry about something. Our Lord Jesus spoke about it. He says, who can give anything to you by worrying? Now, if we can look at ourselves now, we are failing to trust God. God. My account is closed. Hey, my family is rejecting me. There's nobody around me. Hey, whatever. We have got many things to talk about. But as the Bible says, no, we don't need to worry about it. We make it like a prayer. When we make it like a prayer, we bring petitions. We bring it like a prayer to him with thanksgiving. And now the Bible says he will do it. Commit our ways to God. And trust him and he will do it. We have read it in Psalm 37 verse 5. All of us here today, we can come to God and say, God, you are the one to do it. Anything that comes to your mind to make you worry, you tell God with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I, I love the prayer. The prayer of thanksgiving is a perfect prayer. Jesus, when he reached in Nazareth, he said, thank Jesus, you. Thank you. But it's after he cried, but he said, thank you. He weep. Allah. But when he reached there, he said, thank you. But when he said, where have you laid it? Are you only male guy? The Bible said, Jesus wept. But when he reached there, he said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know you hear my prayers. In other words, Jesus was saying, Father, I know, you know what I want to say to you. And I'm praying this prayer because I know that when I go to the people are listening, that you are the only one who answers prayer. So for me to cry and say, Lazarus, come forth this for this people. But you know, 
that you know what I designed my house. And I want Lazarus to come out. And he did it. Commit your way to God. And he will do it. Thank you for watching. Keep watching Charis TV.